Hey guys, welcome back to a new playthrough of uh, Final Fantasy VII. Um, this is our episode two. As I mentioned last episode, I'm going to do this game in parts and release them um, um, in different parts. Um, it's just it's going to be a, it's going to be the longest game I'm going to probably do a let's play of probably. And I don't want to put out like 70 to 80 episodes of one game. So I'm going to release certain parts of this game throughout the year. Um, just so I can get some more shit in, you know? Let's go talk to this motherfucker. Bits! Okay, go on ahead. I forgot I named him Bits. <laughs> Papa! What? I ain't your papa. Who are you? Whose kid is this? Marlene, aren't you gonna say anything to Jimmy A? Sorry, boys. I got my slurping on my uh, cola and my water. Welcome home, Jimmy A. It's like everything went well. Did you fight with Bits? <laughs> yeah, because Bits is a dick. I should have known. He's always pushing people around. We've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Mmm. Guys, I am stumped. I have no idea what to name this chick. Um. I don't know. Kitty. That's my cat's name. Baby Kitty. Flowers? How nice. You almost never see them here in the slums. But... A flower for me? Oh, Jimmy A, you shouldn't have. Okay, I'll give it to the kid. You little brat. Shit! Papa, welcome home. Yeah. Huh? What about that flower? Jimmy A gave it to me. Oh. Did you thank him? Wow. Thank you, Jimmy A. We'll take care of you. Thank you. You all right, Bits? Great! Get in here, fools. We're starting the meeting. <laughs> Sit down. Okay, kitty. How about something to drink? Give me something hard, bitch. Just a minute, I'll make one for you. Oh, shit. What was that? You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. Oh, hold on a second. All right. I guess not. You were a soldier. Make sure you get your pay from bits. You're goddamn right I will. And once I get it, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Adios, amigo. Hey! Jimmy A, are you feeling alright? Leave me alone. Yeah, why? No reason. You look a little tired, I guess. I mean, I, I did just blow up a whole reactor, didn't I? Alright. Talk to you fools real quick. You think I'm a little too uptight? I don't know what this means. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know what he means by it. Fuck you. I don't like talking to you. What's up, J-girl? Oops. Hey, look at the news. What a blast. I think it was all because of my bomb? But all I really did was just make it like the computer told me. Oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. Yo, Jimmy A, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Don't go thinking you're so bad just because you're in Soldier. Fuck you, Barrett. I mean, Bits. 
Oh! Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't you forget, your skinny ass working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. Uh oh. I'm going upstairs. I'm going to talk about my money. Shucks. Money. That bits. It's like I'm stealing your uh, Pokemon cards now because you don't got your money for me. Wait, Jimmy A. Kitty, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up! I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. Don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Uh. Oh! Jimmy A. Say you don't care, but you came to talk to me. Jimmy A. You must want friends. Isn't that right? I don't really don't care. You're terrible. Real cold-blooded. Blow off. Yeah, well, you look kind of lonely to me. If you get anything you want to go up your chest, you can always talk to me. Ugh. Jesse, can you do something for me? Money! Oh my, I must have been for a lot of it. Sure, but well, what the hell? It's a verbal agreement. Let me figure this out. Oh, stop it, Jimmy A. Did you hear me? Let me read this television set. President Shinra, he's a bad guy. Today the number one reactor was bombed. The terrorist group Avalanche has claimed responsibility for the bombing. It's expected that Avalanche will continue the reign of terror. But citizens of Midgar, there's no need to fear. I have immediately <coughs> mobilized soldiers to protect our scenery from against the senseless violence. Thank you and good night. Let me take my jersey off. It's getting a little hot. <sighs> All right, here we go. What up, Kitty? Listen, Jimmy A, I'm asking you, please join us. Sorry, Kitty. <laughs> the planet is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So that bits and his buddy do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving. You're just gonna walk right out ignoring your childhood friend. Kitty, how can you say that? You forgot the promise, too. <laughs> promise? So you did forget. Remember, Jimmy A? It was seven years ago. Huh. Now that you mention it... Look, the well. Do you remember? I don't remember no well, Kitty. Oh, oh, now I remember. Yeah, back then. I thought you would have never come. Not like that. And I was getting a little cold. I gotta stop saying that. Sorry I'm late. Ooh, baby. Well, I should I shouldn't say that because it's not, never mind. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Come this spring, I'm living t I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town, but I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth. The great Sephiroth. Yeah, the guy got like a 20 inch sword and a fucking 20 inch dick. Isn't it hard to join Soldier? Probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. That's okay. Huh? If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? Oh, 
I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you'll come save me, alright? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. What are you, fucking stupid? Come on, promise me! Alright, kitty, I promise. Oh. Remember now, don't you? I'll promise. I'm not a hero, I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. Uh, so come on, you gotta keep your promise. What the hell? Bitch, just use the fucking elevator. Wait a sec, big time soldier. Promise is a promise. Here! Receive bit stash. 1500 gil. This is my pay? Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... Then you got the next mission lined up. You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3000. What? It's okay, it's okay. Psst. You're really hurting for help, right? Ugh, it's money for Marlene schooling! Oh shit, hold up. Alright, sorry guys. Um, pause the recording for, uh, because Kitty was taking a shit and I wanted to scoop that out real quick. 2000. Thanks, Jimmy A. I let Kitty outside. She's having a good time right now. My turn. Oh man. What a hideout. Ooh, look at that computer. Ooh. Bits, you think Blue Ridge would uh think the computer would survive Blue Ridge? Good morning, Jimmy A. Eh? Did you sleep well? Kitty, next to you, who won it? I don't know what you mean. I'm going this time. <laughs> I'll target the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Jimmy A. For the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh, I really don't know how to use Materia. I'll give that Materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. Alright, I'll explain it, Bits. Just in case no one knows how to use this. Sure, I'll explain how Materia works. First, access the menu. You know the basic functions. Press triangle to bring up the menu. Directional buttons to move the cursor. Like this. Select each menu by access uh, by using the cross button. If you want to leave the menu, just press circle. You mean X, right? That's sure, let's go ahead. Now you're in this menu. Select material submenu. So that's who you want to use it. Now look at my weapons here. Each weapon and armor has slots in it. Choose which slot you want to put material in. Now select the material you want to use. This is cur curative? Let's restore. Material, secure one. If you want to know what its effect is, line up the cursor with a check in menu. Now press the cross button, which means X. It's like selecting battle commands. Line up, just line up the cursor to the magic, and you can see the available magic has increased. Yeah, meow, meow. Now you can use new magic here. That's all there is to equip the materia. See, it wasn't that tough. When you want to remove any materia, it's easy as point to the materia slot and pressing triangle. Just one thing you have to be careful of. Whenever you equip materia, your sti your stitch your situation changes. Parts of you may become stronger, while others get weaker. 
Normally when you equip magic materia, your magic power will get stronger, but your physical strength weakens. So materia is kind of a double-edged sword. On the left side of the screen, you can see the materia's effect on you. It's wise not to overuse magic materia, but try out various things. Press circle button to exit the sub-menu. Okay, that's about it. I'll give you some advice. I'll give you some uh, advanced tips later. Blank! What's this? It wasn't that tough. Crap. I don't get it. You just handle materia, Jimmy A. Fuck you, bitch. Jimmy A, I got a message from the Schweppin' shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. Alright, good luck. Alright. Now let's do the materia. I usually give Jimmy the um, restore materia and everything else don't matter. Alright. Alright, there's nothing else I can do here. Goodbye, Bar. See you later. Let's stop here. What the hell happened? Huh, another slow day. If this keeps up, the store's going under. Can't sell any really good medicine in a slum like this. Oh, look at this. This doesn't happen every day. Are you a customer? Yes, welcome. We sell. We buy. I'm gonna get the fire. Now, there's really... Later on in the game, you're going to get this materia. In the Shinra Tower. Or the Shinra Building. Or, if you want to spend a 600 gil on it right now... You can have it a lot earlier, and you can sell the other materia that you get later on in the game. Um, let me get some Phoenix Downs, and I'll take a couple of, uh, few, uh, Antidote. So let's equip. Let's give, uh, Bits the fire. Let's go see this weapon shop guy real quick. <laughs> He'll forget about it. Oh, you! Get my friend on the second floor to teach ya. Hey! He- Hey! Wait a minute, you! You just can't walk out of here without buying something. Might be unhealthy for ya, if you know what I mean. What are you talking about, man with no lips? Ooh! Okay, let's get the grenades. Let's get the iron bangle, and I guess we'll get one more grenade. Fuck it. So let's give... Jimmy A that. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sell... The bronze bangles. It's pretty much useless. Two. Let's get one more grenade. Alright, those grenades will come handy later on. This right here is like a tutorial um, stage. It just teaches you how to do stuff. I'm not going through it. I'm just gonna skip this because it's just stupid shit. Yeah, this is what we wanted. They're all material. Materia. Hey, you got one right off. That was materia. Next, take this treasure chest. You just get free items up here. And it's probably worth it if you're a beginner. Come up here and then and, and, um, learn the basics of this game. It can be a little confusing sometimes. Alright, so this all material. I can now cure everyone at once, just one time. Until this gets more stars, then I can use it more. Um, is there anything else in here? I don't think anything else I really want. Alright, let's... Go back to the train, I guess. Ooh.
Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Move, assholes. I gotta fill my water up. It's almost empty. Oh, I probably should have saved it before I came on here. Yo! This ain't no private car, so split up! Hoodlums again. God, don't have all the luck. Here comes Bitch with his nasty, uh... Rage he always has. You say something? Oh, Bitch got lips too. I said, you say something? No, look at that. They got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn! Damn! It's, it's empty because of guys like you. Oh! Y yikes! Yikes! You, you've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there'll be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? I won't give him the violence and I won't give him my seat either. Bits! Blank, you lucky blank. So, what are we gonna do now? Blank. <laughs> Beep. The hell are you so calm? You're busting up my rhythm. Bits, go sit your ass down next to that employee. You got to cry. That guy's crying like. Bits got that guy to cry like he gets Stall Talk to cry. Because he won't let me and Stall Talk spam his live streams with talking about Pokemon Mountain East or China and Xbox and shit like that. Looks like they finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. So what's our next target? Ha! Listen to Mr. Serious about his work. Alright, I'll tell ya. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint atop a plate. It's an ID scan system, checking all the trains. Which Shinra is very proud of? We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning, and welcome to Midgar Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station is 11.45. That means we got only three more minutes to the ID checkpoint. Alright, in three minutes, we're jumping off this train. Got it? Jimmy A, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Ugh, alright. Huh. You're the only one that don't talk to me when I'm coming to my house. I'm impressed. The guy's still in the fucking chair? Like, go do something. Wah! Wah! Don't, don't worry about me. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm gonna be wrecked to everyone I work about this. Yo, Mr. Know-It-All, big time soldier. You ought to know the area around this number five reactor, right? So let's hear your explanation. Ooh. Hmm, it looks like you've seen us already. That's alright, come a little closer. Kitty, don't make me blush. Uh oh! That's odd. The ID checkpoint is supposed to be further down. Type A security alert. Identified passengers. Confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat, type A security alert, unidentified, and passengers confirmed, a search of all cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. So you guys gotta rush through this part. Let's go, keep it up. But first, talk to the homeless guy again. He gives us some reward, and Phoenix down. Oh, you don't gotta talk to him. Alright, so if you don't make it in time, you jump off early and you gotta go through a long uh, tunnel and fight people. Just run, changing the plan too. I gotta find my player's guide for this game. I really don't need it though. Not yet, to start another check for caught, we're done for. But don't worry, if you move up to the train, car by car, we should get past it. Oh! She punched that motherfucker! Alright, let's move, guys. That guy usually steals something from me. He didn't do it that time.
All right, we made it. Yo, this way. Let's go. We're going to dive out of here. It's me, Jesse. How do I look, Jimmy, eh? Do I look good in the shining uniform? You look pretty hot, Jess. You look great. Just like a man. No, I mean... I don't know about you looking like a man, but... Alright, Kitty. Scary, huh? Too late for that now. Why don't you come along anyways, Kitty? You're supposed to be at home. Because... Hey, you too. There ain't no time for that. Yeah, I made up my mind. Watch closely, I'm gonna jump. You don't care if I go first? A leader always stays till the end. Don't worry about me, just go. See you, bits. Yo! Don't get your spiky ass hurt. It's only the beginning of the mission. hey -ya! Later, you take care of the rest. That was our uh, train jumping experience, although I am by now an expert at that. Good. So far everything's going as planned. Don't let your guard down till we get to Sector 5 Reactor. Big, Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for us, so move it! The reactor's just down this tunnel. Now, you can walk down that way. Um, you're just going to end up... Um, in a dead end, you can fight a lot of enemies that way. But, I'm supposed to go up north. Oh, back attack. Now, I will be grinding throughout the game. I'm obviously not doing it now. Random battles, you know, obviously we'll have to do it, but... Um, I'm probably not going to be recording the grinding sessions. Those light beams are Shinra security centers. We can't go any further. There's one tiny, this one damn tiny hole. Tell me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? No way. Yo, Jimmy A, what are we gonna do? We're going down, motherfucker. But damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. So, my favorite Final Fantasies, obviously, seven's the best, in my opinion. Nine's number, my, nine's my second favorite, followed by six. Then I wanna say four. And then it's either going to be f 8 or 5. And the rest is kind of, yeah. I still got to finish 5, by the way. Time of recording this, I have not finished it. Sleep, motherfucker. Why would this thing fucking die? Thank you. Oh, 
All right, bits went up a level. We'll take the potion. Wow, we're pretty high up. Look at that. Jimmy, hey, this way. The record's up to Slatter. How did you get here? Weren't you just on the fucking train? Yeah, guys, if you haven't played the remake yet, the remake's, like... Is all of Shinra or uh, Midgar? I'm sorry, the ID scan probably on my on the train was my all my fault. I modified your ID card. That's what I did. I did my best, but I failed. Next time, I'll give you something better. I'll be back at the hideout, in my research room, working on it. Ooh, Jesse, pretty hot, Jess. Um. Yeah, the remake is so beautiful. The music... I was blown away by the music. Um, so... Um... That game was released. Um, I had I pre-ordered the, the, the uh, Deluxe Edition from GameStop. And, um... Hey, motherfucker. And, um... I had it all paid off, 80 bucks. I never ordered, I never pre-ordered the uh, deluxe edition on anything. I had it all paid off, I'm so excited, I'm gonna get like all this extra shit to come with the game. And then here it is, the pandemic started. And uh... All these shops started to close, and GameStop was forced to close, and... They didn't know if they were even going to uh, open up with was supposed to be two weeks. Remember back when it was supposed to be two weeks, everything was supposed to open back up. So eventually, I had to cancel my pre-order, and I uh, got my money back, and I ended up buying the, the digital version of the game. Whatever, I, I still have the game. So, I have, uh, remember my roommates when they were living here, my one roommate was out in the kitchen doing her computer work, or I don't know what the fuck she was doing. So, to give her some kind of privacy and some kind of quietness, I played the game with headphones on, and it, the music just sounded so fucking awesome to the headphones. It's just, it's like, I gotta get the soundtrack. Once I get the extra cash, I should make that a plan to buy the soundtrack. We're gonna pull out now, but not like that! Uh, we'll meet up at the hideout. Jimmy, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. I've only played it once. I'm surprised I haven't played it twice. I'm still waiting on part two. I know once I get the PS5, I'm gonna end up buying the game for that. So maybe I should just hold out till the PS5 comes out. Or until I get money for the PS5, I should say. Right now, I have no interest in buying the system. Way too much money, and I have way too much other shit I gotta take care of before I uh, give up $600 for a... Uh, $700 for the fucking game and the system. Way too much money. Really anything Final Fantasy 7 is pretty good. I loved, on the PSP, I loved Crisis Core, which takes place before this game. Let me play as Zack. Um, that's a really good PSP game. Bits. Um, you should definitely get that game. I have still have a PSP, but it's not in the best shape. I should probably buy another one. Or I gotta see if this one still works. And if it does, why not try to play Crisis Core? I gotta rebuy it. I don't have any games for it anymore.
Alright, let's get another save in. Oops. Um, let's hear you motherfuckers first. Now let's get a save in. This game's released on so many different consoles. Um, I think probably the Nintendo Switch version is probably the best in my opinion. And that's just because if you lose power, the Switch ain't gonna shut off, right? I may not be able to record. Well, maybe I would be able to record. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't because I'll lose uh, power to the television. But the system won't shut off. Right? There you go. That means I can stop the game anytime I want. Alright, this is getting annoying. Hey I'm stumped for names. I have no idea what to name these characters. I gotta make a list between episodes. I have no idea who I'm gonna name Aerith. Here's uh, Jimmy A losing his mind again. What the hell? Papa, Sephiroth, did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth, soldier, make a reactor, Shinra. I hate them all! All these flashback scenes and shit, they're soon going to make sense, guys. Damn, man, get a hold of yourself. <clears throat> Ooh, that was a wet burp. You alright? Kitty. Kitty Ramsey. Hmm. No, forget it. Come on, let's hurry. Where's the boss at? All right. We don't need to get a save right here. There'll be another save point up before the boss fight. Vince got his limit break. Buzz. Get him, Bits. Bits and glory, everybody. He's the Bits, and that was the glory. Bits, if you don't play Final Fantasy IX, I'm going to unfollow you on, on YouTube. That, you would honestly probably really like that game. So I'm going to stop this episode at the next save point, um, actually right before the boss fight. As I said, I want to make these episodes a little bit longer than 30 minutes, since the game's a little bit, I don't want to make it like two hours long, it's fucking crazy, but 40 minutes is a good time to end it. I wouldn't mind doing an hour for these games. Who is this guy? Oh no, neighbor pulling into their house. I like looking out my window. 
I got this big tree that kind of looks like a giant Christmas tree in front of my window. If that thing wasn't there, I'd be totally be able to see everything down that road. I can see who can pull in whose driveway. I wish that tree was over to the right. By like 10 yards, it would have been perfect. It's a really beautiful tree when it snows though. God, this is such a good game. Such a good freaking game. This is Foot Pain Guy's favorite Final Fantasy. I believe it's his only Final Fantasy that he plays and likes. Jesse said we ought to push the buttons at once. Sorry guys, hit the wrong button. No good, let's try it again. <sighs> Too soon. No good, let's try it again. Come on guys! On my go! Ready, set, go! There we go! I knew we had it in you! Uh, we don't have a tent, do we? Yeah, we do have a little tent. Let's use it, fuck it. Let's get a save in, guys. Alright, um, we're gonna stop it here. We're pretty far into the game. Well, not pretty far into the game. We're making good progress. Um, not struggling yet. I don't know how often we're gonna struggle in this game because it is a fairly easy Final Fantasy game if you grind and if you improve your, your magic and your summons and shit. Although I don't really use the summons often in this game. It's, um, we're gonna get there soon, guys, so. Thank you so much uh, for all the support. Like, subscribe, dislike, comment. Totally up to you guys. Um, I appreciate everything that you do, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.